Good morning, guys. I am going to be vlogging today because I'm going on a trip to London. I'm going with Urban Decay, so I'm very excited. And my taxi's actually on the way. He's 15 minutes late. It was booked for 8 and it's now quarter past 8. We're just going for the day, so flight's at, I think, half 9 or something. And our flight home is at, like, half 5, maybe. So we're just going to the Urban Decay event and then, yeah, heading home. I literally snoozed my alarms for 40 minutes this morning. I I physically could not get out of bed. I was so tired. I'm, I didn't go to bed till really late last night because I was watching Friends Benefits. Guys, it's my new favourite movie. It literally is my new favourite movie. I'm obsessed with it. I've watched it twice in the space of not even a week. So, yeah, I'm really tired. And look who's here. <laughs> Why do I look like that? Like what? I'm like a fucking boomer. <laughs> look how bougie this car is that we got. <laughs> and we don't belong in this car. So we're on the way to the airport. Our flight is boarding, but the queue is so long, so we don't want to go stand in the queue. But the airport is literally closed. Like, so far. Then there is literally not open, and we rushed to get here because it said the gate was closing in seven minutes, but we think it means that it was actually opening in seven minutes yeah. now. Yeah, we fucked it. Oh, yeah. Mimosa. And I'm starving as well. Like, I really want some beans and toast, but it's too late now. So, I'm getting on the plane, absolutely starving. Okay, so we've just arrived at the event. Did I tell them what I, where, where I was actually going? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I think you said it before, no? Maybe. Well, we're at the Urban Decay event. Um, we just arrived. I slept like the entire plane. I drank. Well, yeah, well, here I literally drank. <laughs> I was fully knocked out of sleep. Um, but I'll show you the event. Oh, there's so much cool stuff. We're gonna get like these bracelets. Like they're like welded onto your. Yeah, they're like so they don't come off. And we also decided we're gonna get matching tattoos. They're giving free tattoos here, so we're gonna yeah. get a tattoo. We're gonna get a tattoo. How is that? But we don't know what tattoo we're gonna get yet. But. I think we should get a little up. Oh no, I already have an up Okay, well we'll go up and we'll see what, what we're thinking. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you. Also, I kind of thought that we'd get like cocktails or something here, but... It's a green thing, it's a green so, it's juice. so it's juice. We're gonna have to get an espresso martini. Yeah, more ju juices and smoothies, so we're not getting cocktail here. But <laughs> anyways, I'll show you. Like the first room, there's like all different rooms. And then in here is where you get the juices. Okay, so this is the room where you get um, like the bracelet. And then here's the tattoo. So we're gonna go in and get the tattoo first. I put my sunglasses on my head because there's no room in my bag. <laughs> Let's go do this. So Ava's currently being welded into a bracelet. Here we go. <laughs> Don't look. I'll zoom in. You are? Oh no. Thank God, no, it's all right. We distracted and we distracted. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. They're really cute, aren't they? I know. Who's mine? Ava's is going on now. Ultimate friendship bracelet. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Thank you. Let's see the most. Oh my god, love. Thank you so much, guys. It is absolutely scorching out, literally. It's so fucking hot. I feel like I'm in Barbella. Yeah, it feels like summer. It's 19 degrees. Yeah. So nice out. I just got a peanut butter protein smoothie. It's actually not that nice because it tastes like banana. What is that noise? <laughs> so annoying. It tastes like banana and I'm really not here for banana. I got a margarita. Here, what did you get? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what you got? She recommended it. Taste test. Mine's definitely gonna be so strong. Cheers. We also got these Parmesan fries. This restaurant is so bougie, isn't it? The sauce, whatever the sauce is, like very me in it. It's so good. And they're like Parmesan fries, but they look like this. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. From there, 10 out of 10. And for Maine, we got cauliflower and then chicken. The chicken's, the chicken's on a bone, so they don't really know why I got that because bones kind of freak me out. But that'll be fine. I'll take it off first. <laughs> Slight problem. I've somehow lost, like, Kira. So, I'm just in this ginormous airport by myself. Like, this airport is the biggest airport I've ever been to in my life. And Kira's not answering her phone. I also have like extremely, extremely bad cramps. So if I stand up, I literally am gonna pass out. So I'm just lurking on some random bench. And I really think I'm gonna die. I like, I think I'm slowly dying. These cramps are like severely, severely bad. So I actually can't stand up and look for. Thank you. We're home. Woo. We're home. And I literally, when I got on the flight, I, okay, first of all, I got on the flight and the woman beside me is like knocked out of sleep and I like want to put my seat back like to like, you know, like lie back a bit. And I, I pressed her button instead of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Did she go back? Yeah, so she sprung back first of all and then she obviously woke up and I was like, sorry. And then I'm like knocked out of sleep. I did, you know when you like jump in your uh, sleep, like you do like a big jump in your sleep. That happened to me, but this was like a jump to the next level. Like, I mean, I proper jumped like the man and woman. Plus I was in the middle seat. I was in the middle seat. <laughs> yeah. So like the man and woman literally were like, and this girl literally go away, honestly. <laughs> were they a couple? No. There's just two random ones. There's just two random I literally say I was the most annoying <laughs> passenger ever. And then, wait, would you say? We passenger? lost each other for ages. Yeah, I lost her for so long. I didn't see her until I got on the flight then. And so I had, I was too afraid to fall back asleep that that, that would happen again. So I just had, <laughs> had to literally eat all my <laughs> snacks. I literally got so much snacks in the shops to bring home and I had to eat them all because <laughs> I was trying to entertain myself and stay awake so I wouldn't fall back to sleep and do that jump again. So oh. I was literally so embarrassing. I literally KO'd on that flight. Like my neck was like that. <laughs> and like the person beside me was like a guy and he was like young enough and he was proper like business suit and I was like sprawled out on the fucking thing like that. <laughs> I'm back home in bed. It's eight o'clock. I have been so excited to get into my pajamas, take off my makeup and watch a movie. Like I am so tired and I've got the worst cramps. And I really don't think all the food that I ate on the plane helped that situation at all. I had a bag of white um, chocolate orange mini eggs. I really wanted to try the new orange galaxy bar, so I had that. I got blue Doritos. And then I got the large um, caramel galaxy bar. And I was planning on eating these over time. But... Um, I actually ate them all on the plane. Well, to be fair, I didn't eat all of the large um, caramel galaxy bar, but I ate everything else. Like, I was just so bored and well, I need to entertain myself when I'm bored. I need to entertain myself by eating. So I just kept eating because I couldn't fall back to sleep because I was so embarrassed after doing that big, huge jump. It was actually so embarrassing. Um, so I'm in bed now and I'm about to start watching No Strings Attached. I think she went from like never watching movies to like watching a movie every single night before I go to bed. But I'm going to bed nice and early tonight because I want to get up early tomorrow morning, really early, to go to the gym. So I'm so tired, so I'm off to bed. Just back from the gym, that's why there's literally red blotches all over my face. 
um but i was just watching this vlog back and i realized that i never showed you guys my tattoo that i got in london so i'm gonna show you guys this is it it's a little avocado on my wrist i have been blatantly 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 you know that word that i'm trying to say blatantly i think it's lying to every single person's face that this tattoo is real I've literally told every single person that this tattoo is real and it's like a really unfunny joke. I, I actually don't know why I've been telling everyone that it's real, but I've literally told every single person. So if I told you this, if that it's real and you're watching this, it's not actually real. I just completely lied to your face. I'm slightly offended that everyone believed me that I got a real, that I got an avocado tattoo on my wrist. Like, I don't know how people actually believe that. But I was just watching over the vlog and I realized that I never actually told you, showed you or told you that it was fake so but yeah that's it and it's starting to fade now a little bit but oh after getting this on my wrist i will never get a tattoo i literally want it off so bad i'm sick of looking at it but it stays on for a couple weeks it's actually ink from a fruit but i can't remember the name of the fruit the woman told me but i can't remember but anyways yeah so it's not real and i didn't get a tattoo but i did get this bracelet i showed you in this vlog so i am obsessed obsessed with this bracelet i'm literally obsessed and it doesn't come off it's like it was like lasered on i showed you in the vlog it's literally lasered onto my wrist so it like never comes off i can get a clamp and take it off so if i want to take it off but i don't because i'm obsessed with it um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's kind of a little bit all over the place we went from london to then doing carpool karaoke but yeah i just thought that was cute so i thought i would add it in hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next vlog.